G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, that last video I did where I showed how you can use a wire wick instead of a cord wick in oil cups, oil pots for plain bearing uh, headstock lathes like, like this one here. Uh, it created quite a bit of interest and I'm sure that most viewers had no idea that yes, a piece of wire will work just as well as a piece of cord. In fact, it will work better because you can regulate the oil supply. And I had a few people uh, ask for a demo of it. Well, I thought, oh, that's going to be a bit boring. But then I thought, what the hell, it's a wet day in Adelaide, I can't do anything today. So, okay, we'll set up a little test bench just to show the doubting Thomases that it does work. I'll also show the inside of the uh, oil cap here in a few photos coming up, just to show that it is bone dry, the oil has gone somewhere. And, uh, yeah, they do work. So, if you want to... Um, kill a bit of time, stay tuned. Okay, to do this, what we use? A nice spare Shorblin oil cups, oil pots, the genuine article from the last video. Then we use the wire wick from the last video. We use a Vegemite jar lid to mount the, the pot into. I'll just drill a hole through the top, mount it on that, and then we'll put a sardine tin under the whole shebang to catch the oil that drips down. And uh, I'll just mount this up a little bit on a couple of blocks, probably put it up that one, I think. And then we can film underneath and see the oil dripping out into the sardine tin. Well, that's the plan. Good to go. So now we'll add some oil. This is just the same stuff that I would normally use. And now we'll, uh, you can see the, a bit of an oil went through initially and now we'll film from underneath and we can see it dripping through. It's working quite nicely. I've changed the wire though from what you saw me drop in the cup in the previous video to non-galvanised because I wasn't getting a very good result. I've always used non-galvanised wire on the Shoreblin and it worked good. You know, steel wire or even copper wire won't work. I'm currently using plain black steel wire and for this video I just plonked in a bit of galv wire I had of about the right diameter to see you know to give you the uh, the lowdown on this and for some weird reason it just wouldn't work properly the, the I think the galvanizing on the wire or the cadmium plating or whatever it is was the culprit the oil just wasn't coming down it like it, it should so now I'm using the same sort of black wire as I've used on the Shoreblin and it's, it's just working beautifully the way it should. So yeah, you know, interesting.
there, that's just a nice steady drip rate, you know, that's all you need. You don't need gallons and gallons of oil, you just need a drop every minute, I suppose. That little cap will run the lathe for an hour, which isn't bad because you're only using lathes for short periods of time generally. I mean, you just got to remember to top it up, but that's quite good. You don't have it dripping huge amounts of oil because it's only got a small reservoir. So it's a handy size. Well, that showed the drip rate quite nicely. Here's a bit of wire I used for the original part of the video, which I've never actually used in a lathe before, and it didn't work very well. Drip rate was very slow, and I think it's the coating on the wire is the problem, because when I used the same sort of wire, this black wire that I had uncoated that I used in the Shorblin, it worked beautifully. So I think the cadmium or the galvanizing on this isn't a good idea. You really want to use a plain uncoated wire. I have used copper wire, that works too. But uh, yeah, strange, very strange. So if you do this, go down this path, make sure to check your drip rate before you actually run your lathe because you could have issues, you know. Um, as I said, black wire like that works fine. But yeah, I've never used that stuff before and it didn't work very well at all. Interesting. Well, the video turned out to be a bit more interesting than I expected. I've never come across that issue with the coating on the wire before and it was just pure luck that I grabbed some of this wire, which I've never used, and uh, for this application and found that there's an issue with that coating, so yep, use plain black wire, you can't go wrong. You saw the drip rate was good. I'm pretty sure in the past I have used copper, but I, you know, it was a long time back, but I'm pretty sure copper worked okay too. So when you do this, check your drip rate before you run your lathe, uh, just to make sure there's no issues. Also, one of the viewers commented and said, I should have mentioned that in the previous video, that make your the bend in the J as tight as possible so that you get contact on both the inside and outside of the of that feed tube so that you then get a capillary action between the wire and that tube centre and that will aid your flow otherwise you might find it's too slow you know it may not be enough also when you make up the J make sure that the wire in the bend sits on the top edge of that tube you know you don't want a gap there either so you, you want contact basically all the way up and all the way down and uh, then you shouldn't have any problems and you know yeah you're right to go it's a good system as I said Shorblin used it and uh, it works great on my old lathe and you've got that huge advantage of being able to regulate the oil flow very accurately and basically save a lot of mess and, and also save some oil but uh, mainly, yeah, keep everything clean. All right, well, that's it for me. I hope you've got something out of that. I've got a bit out of this one myself, actually. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers.